Archangel Arena. Throughout the Empire, countless tournaments feature their greatest weapons. The Archangel. Pilots of all colors and stripes have come from all the corners of the Empire to test their metal in the arena. Many have tried, and many have failed. Now, how will you fare? Yo, what's up guys? This is Silver Phoenix bringing you another interesting video, if you want to call it that. <laughs> uh, today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I think is one of the best kept secrets on Steam. And by best kept secrets, I mean that this game only has 63 reviews. They're all super positive. And this is a work in progress. Like, man. <laughs> Like, man, oh my goodness, there, there needs to be more people playing this game. Why? This game is like a dream come true. Like, all right, so picture this. We have Damon X Machina. If you don't know about that game, oh, look it up. I'll, I'll do another video talking about that very soon. But we have Damon X Machina. We have Left Alive and who knows when left alive is coming out nothing's been announced they don't have a timeline they just said this year so i'm guessing probably like the last quarter near the holidays for left alive damon x machina which was also developed by some leaving members of the armored core team who have left from software to go work on other mech games and try to take over the mech genre and how unexistent it is at the moment uh they are working with marvelous if you're familiar with them, they make a lot of uh, interesting, etchy games. Uh, that's coming out in the first quarter of next year, around February, on the Nintendo Switch. It's a beautiful-looking game, Damon X Machina. Um, so you've got Square Enix back into the fold. You've got From Software, who announced the new Armored Core game, which started this whole explosion. Then you've got some of the developers leaving and going to Marvelous and making their own game that's cell shaded and beautiful. And it's like the resurgence of the mech genre. So here we go with something maybe not so much Armored Core based, but something a little more reminiscent to Cyber Troopers Virtual On. I do know that last year Sega did a poll on Twitter asking people to tell them like what was their favorite uh, like games and like what game they would like to see remade or brought into the modern fold. You know, if they were to like bring some old titles back, Virtual Lawn was one of those games that was up there on the list as most voted. But, you know, of course, like Jet Set Radio was out there and another game. Um, but this game is very reminiscent to Virtual Lawn. Like, if you were just to take the fighting aspect, as you saw in the video, you know, you can do 1v1, 2v2, you can do couch, you know, multiplayer, couch fighting, you know, like your mech against theirs. You, you can both create one. 
we'll create multiples, go again, go at it. You can go online with somebody right next to you. You know, split screen online multiplayer like this is the dream. This is the dream, boys. So if this is what you're looking for, it's already here it's still in development it's early access i'm not doing a review of it until it's finished right now this is just an awareness video like hey i'm letting you guys know if you have a pc check this game out the developers are indigo entertainment they've made quite a, a quite a few other games and mobile games and etc uh we'll check them out in a moment but i just wanted to show you guys what this is about uh if you want to read their mission statement you can i'm on the steam website not on my actual client um if you want the link to garrison it'll be in the description below uh these guys are very passionate about mechs like i am like most of us are like hopefully all of us are <laughs> if you're here on this channel you should be excited about humanoid mechs um but they are like people who are really uh inspired by like gundam armored core front mission virtual on etc 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 you know like that's the thing that they that they're into and they wanted to do something you know to add to that because you know like there hasn't been a game like this in a long time like the last actual virtual on game was virtual on four or virtual on force, which was on the 360 and it was Japanese only, but there was a global build that was released, but you know, like it's so close to, it's over a hundred dollars to buy the global, the global version of that game. And uh, cause it has to be imported. So, you know, that's a bit of a hassle, but these guys are like, Hey, we're trying to bring that back. We're trying to bring back some online. We're trying to bring back, Bring back the uh, the couch co-op, the couch PvP, you know, the 4v4 atmosphere, the fast-paced combat, the competitiveness. You know, they're, it's not like they're going directly for esports, but they're going for, like, you know, that old, fun, giant robot. Beat people up with something that looks cool, something that plays cool. Everything has its own unique identity and stuff like that. They're going back to that style. And that's what we need. We really, really need that in gaming. I can't say it enough. So... Check out these guys, you know, I'm gonna put the link to their website also in the description if you wanna contact them. Uh, they stay very active on their blogs. This update hasn't came out yet, 0.2.15. Right now it's still on 0.2.14. Um, so they said this was an emergency patch back in July, July 2nd, which was a month ago. Uh, I don't know what's held them up in July from releasing that patch in August, but if you want to know about the game, if you want to know about the gameplay, I pretty much explained it. Uh, if you want to know about the recommendations, please go ahead, you know, pause it if you need to. Uh, like I said, there are 63 reviews. I've left one. So that's, you know, 62 positive reviews. There are no negative reviews here. This game is under development with a very high ceiling. And it just, it just keeps getting better, man. It just keeps getting better. So from that video you saw, they have updated the UI a little bit. Um, it's a lot, it's a little cleaner. Um, it's a little easier to read and stuff like that. Uh, they've added in a bunch of stuff. There's you know a lot of parts for you to play around with. I did a stream where I played it for a first impression and I was on that thing for like, I think three hours and like an hour and a half was just customization. That's how good this is. So. Uh, I found Indigo Entertainment's website since it wasn't listed on their Steam page. Uh, like I said, these guys have worked on some other games, probably some games you've heard of, probably some you haven't, uh, which is pretty cool. If you are looking for a job, <laughs> they are looking <laughs> for people. So, hey, if you're like, I would love to make games for a studio, I just need a place to go. There's always tons of places to go. So they're looking for 2D artists, animators, 3D artists, Q&A analysts. I could actually do that. Um, but getting into their games and what they've done, they worked on quite a few games. A lot of them I haven't even heard, but you know, like you got stuff like Wishing 101 from the Fairly Odd Parents. You got the Monkey Kingdom from Disney, the Snow White. 
Um, some interesting games. I think most of them are mobile. Um, doing this backwards because eh, not that much, but you know they do have some stuff that you can do that you can look at. Uh, they've they cover a lot. They have some pretty good clients, so I'm not too worried about them. Uh, as far as for their games themselves that they make that that's in house, I guess this is what this is this would be would be in house. Um, you know, as you can see here, the couple games they have and Garrison, which is on Steam, most of their games are mobile. And for a Steam game, this is already super polished. We'll get into some gameplay in a bit, but um, just wanted to like show you. You know, they have a Discord. If you want to go there, I'm there. There's a bunch of people there. Their Discord is pretty packed, but you know. I want to get some games in online. There's not enough people online for me to like try out the 2v2. They do have a, a very interesting array of game modes. Uh, the game is not completely perfect yet. You know, like I said, it is still in development. So keep that in mind. You know, there are some things that might crash or some things that might not show up. UI might turn off in certain areas and stuff like that. But for most of what I've played for the plus... 70 hours i played into the game already it's been great like from the colors to the gameplay to the movement to the controls uh, being responsive for both keyboard and mouse uh, keyboard and mouse and controller the ui supporting both unlike most games where it's like oh it just shows keyboard controls because that's all they program no it like if you pick up a controller it will switch the entire ui to the controller input so um, that is great. They have a demo. They have a Facebook. They have a Twitter. Like I said, check out their Discord if you're on PC. But yeah, this is Garrison Archangel, and man, let's get into some gameplay. All right, all right, guys, getting into some of the gameplay. Why did I say it like that? Anyway, getting into some of the gameplay. Um, and you have your standard stuff. The settings. Graphics are pretty good. I, I mean, you can turn them up to very high if you want. It's still polished. Like there's really, there's really nothing too heavy in the processing of this game, which is what I'm loving about it. So whether you're playing it on very low or very high, it's good all around. Let's just give it a reset. Show it off a bit, you know do what it do i love how every time it loads up there's a different like wallpaper i love stuff like that so yeah high settings not dropping frames at all very beautiful looking game that's one of my custom mechs right there that's my baby my baby anyway getting into just a little bit just to show you you know like what i was talking about from the video what you see in the video is what you get um now that i'm looking at it actually let me turn down this <laughs> uh just because i remember that what i'm using to record with i keep going to codex really uh what i'm recording with does not like it being so high that's why I had it on medium. But, uh, graphics are polished. I don't know if it dropped frames for you guys, but, um, but as far as my build goes, it doesn't really like things on super high settings. But anyway, uh, just like game overall, really polished. I love the soundtrack. Uh, there's my other custom one, my uh, Timjin, if you will, from uh, Virtual Lawn. I wanted to see if that was possible to do, and it is. It's pretty cool. That lance drill, that drill lance actually transforms into a hammer. So, like, you know, if you're into, like, Bloodborne-esque weapons where it's, like, you know, a weapon that transforms into another weapon, or maybe you're, like, into the Final Fantasy idea of gun blades... If that's something that like oh if it has a gun blade in it i gotta play it uh this has a couple gun blades 
Um, but like I said, getting into the garage where all the magic happens, you know, you, you know. Um, they start you off with three basic ones. Um, just, you know, to just give you the example, a mid-weight balance type, you know, close range, long range, jack of all trades. They give you the super light type, the very aggressive light type that doesn't want to take damage, but wants to dish out as much damage as possible. And then they give you the heavy weight type where it's just like nonstop pressure, defense, offense, the donkey puncher in the right hand. You know how we do. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, like they give you two extra slots and then you can always expand for free, actually. Uh, you can expand the garage. So no microtransactions. I know we're still talking about stuff like that, but but yeah, so like this is my Alicia-esque build that I was working on uh, with the katana. You know, had to, had to had to keep the Ray Leonard dreams alive. Ray Leonard's the best in Armor Core 4. I don't care what anyone has to say. He's the GOAT. Fight me, bro. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, like, I really loved how I was like, oh, these parts look like the Alicia, you know, from Armor Core. I was like, let me put those together for, like, old time's sake and see what I can do with them. And it's pretty freaking sick, like the with the way the arms are, the way the legs are, the reverse joint legs. You know, like it, it just has that feel, like that armor core four, armor core five leg leg feel. And then with the, the way the thrusters are, I was like, this is hitting home right here. So, um, the Tim Jin build, I was just playing around with for fun, just wanted to see if if it would work, and it actually does work. Um, but yeah, like, like the weapons are unique, the, the custom colors that you can do just like armored core, if you've ever played one, um, you know, like you can pick from colors and then save a palette and add that palette to the overall scheme. So you can use it on different parts, different mechs, uh, just like armored core, you can color each individual part of your mech, the head, the chest, legs, arms, all separate the weapons separate you know like your energy color and accents they kind of did it a little bit like warframe in which I, I really like that where it's like you have your basic colors and your palettes and your templates that they give you a very nice assortment of colors that look good on almost everything um, and then you have your advanced where you have like, like i said like your body the overall body where all parts in the body at one minus the weapons all weapons at once Head separate, torso separate, arms separate, legs separate, right hand weapon, left hand weapon, shoulder weapons, rear weapons, like all that stuff is separate and can be done at once if you want to. And then, like I said, like, you know, primary, secondary, uh, tertiary, accent, glow, which is like your energy. That's like Warframe. If you played Warframe, it's like, oh, I'm familiar with those types of, of color schemes when it comes to editing. Then you can like apply palettes. You know, you can save a palette if you like a certain color scheme that you got going on and you want to save it to the custom palettes, use it again later for something else. Uh, the random button, you know, which always comes up with stuff. But, um, but yeah, like I love the way they did it. And then they still have that reminiscent armor core feel where you can either use the RGB colors setup, you know, you can use the, the straight fading color setup or as I call it the waterfall uh what do, I, what do I call it the waterfall rainbow effect uh they also have the HSV which is you know very reminiscent to most mech games that have this especially the old core old school armor core games all that stuff where you get to you know really pick most RPGs have this color scheme like DC Universe and stuff like that that wasn't too bad um you know visibility saturation hue so you, know, you have all that stuff you can switch back and forth I, i'm loving it I'm, I'm really loving it and it's not mcdonald's so um getting into it you know like you can do a lot of things with it the color the equipment tons of parts to choose from um you know each one is a part of a set so you can either make the full set which is what i'm wearing now i'm wearing like a bit of the well you all man like all mammoth and like even though it's a mammoth 
build if you see it it has highlighted there's a lack of mobility there's you know i'm receiving less damage from melee you know the load is a little bit high so i'm going to use up a lot of energy you, know, you can get into those stats a little deeper your base armor speed strength maximum capacity you know i'm, a, I'm overweight for the legs by 500 points so it's gonna be sluggish you know based on everything i have equipped it it shows you what type it is and stuff like that it shows you how much you're gonna lose in your mobility like all this good stuff from armored core like this is the stuff that used to make me play armored core for years was just all this detail you know every part matters you know you're not getting so detailed as to like incorporate the engine you're using or like the um the power supply or anything like that which is you know reasonable for this is a fighting game not like a action adventure rpg style game so you don't want to be too detailed but detailed enough you know it gives you your lore about the the parts you're using and good stuff good stuff i, I could go on forever but good stuff you know each part looks different i love that you know you can just completely mix and match they have a bunch of different styles i hope they add more in the future i really hope they do because like the looks man like just the stuff you can build is just great i'm loving it but yeah not not going to take up too much of your time um you know, it gets into the etern internal parts too, which is something that I really like. So like, you know, ammo expansion, you know, boost capacities, reinforced frame, increased health and stuff like that. You know, artificial missiles and pads and, you know, pretty much extra defense, extra offense, stuff like that. If you want to check it out, please go ahead and do it. Um, the rear weapons are very interesting because they come in a large variety. So you've got like, cannons you know like like armor core stuff like this is like i'm gonna keep saying it because that's exactly what it is this isn't a joke it's not like oh it's like armor core and it's like yo this is nothing like armor core you know it's kind of like it but this is actually like armor core like this is a freaking nuke the uh, actual nuke on the back like it reminds me of the uh of armor core 5 the uh the giga weapons you know like this is one of those nukes um but you can use it faster than you can the giga weapons so um cool stuff like that thrusters and everything uh, i might do a couple of videos just showing off like how to do like some comparison uh builds from like other games like like i already said like i built tim Jin, uh as best as i could you know of course i could like try to do it a little bit better but i think that's as good as i'm going to get for now for what the parts they have um but just like how to build tim Jin, how to build an alicia you know like how to build you know like some other mechs from like from like armor core virtual lawn there's a couple gundam parts i saw in there that i'm pretty interested in to see what i can i can come up with but like just overall just like this this is this is the life right here so like early access like i said not gonna give it a hardcore like oh it could be better here and there and blah 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 no i'm not doing that um this is a great game they have a discord check that out i know i said that earlier but they have a discord check it out there's a lot of people there there's a lot of people that are excited about this this group is doing something good this developer is doing something good and we should show them that some support you know mechs are coming back this is like the resurgence of the mech genre you know like we gotta support this so uh, as far as game modes uh you have your multiplayer you can create a room you can try to find a room uh, trying to find a room is kind of hard because like i said there's like not that many people playing it because there's not that many people who know about it and i want to change that so um offline you have arcade survival board mode arcade mode definitely needs some work not like it's not playable it is playable but like there's no announcer there's no uh there's no um like rival system there's no like cutscenes or dialogue. There's no boss at the end. It's kind of just like fight a bunch of mechs. And if you win, you win. Best out of three, move on to the next match. Um, the map designs for each arena are really awesome. I want to throw out some detail to that. 
they did a great job this is a very ambitious game and i hate to say ambitious because everybody's using that word but this is a very ambitious game uh survival survival going up against other mechs other random npcs uh the ai in this game is very good it's not like other games where it's like oh man they're pretty much just standing there getting killed like they will work you they will work you like high difficulties like even in the test area if you set it to like normal hard or insane it's like playing against another player not like playing against another like npc computer that like knows what you're about to do that's input reading you like they're pretty aggressive in a good way to where you actually feel like you're playing someone else who's who's another player like you horde mode is kind of like survival where it's like waves of pilots get thrown at you in their mechs which i think is really cool and this is one of the few places where you actually have some voice acting so like with the hordes you will hear the pilots like oh get him you know like uh like oh i can't believe i lost and stuff like that you know like different types of of people talking so that way you feel like you're actually fighting pilots and it's in a pretty big open area which gives me a lot of hope and i'm gonna just i'm gonna leave it with horde mode and show off like the gameplay and how fast it is the tutorial is really good unlike the gundam versus tutorial and i hate to throw shade at gundam versus but that tutorial was pure garbage um i will i use my alicia yeah my alicia i won't use timjin timjin's kind of boring it's just it's just a just a lance slash hammer but um but yeah like like i said the the, in, the areas are really interesting this in horde mode shows me that they have the potential to do like an kind of like an adventure Go. rpg mode to it maybe you know something kind of like urban armor core ish um as you see it's like like it's not a joke the combat is actually good your movement i love the dashing it's just like armored core four and i say four other than the others because it's very specific like when you, if you dash back and forth you feel like you're playing armored core four like you can be really fast with your attacks i'm i'm just pretty slow because i'm talking i'm not i can't really focus and do both at the same time but uh you, know, you can cover you can speed dash you can attack you can go twice you can go up in the air you can cover in the air like armor core 5 not really fly like armor core 4 that one was very specific to the build um there is a reload button that works differently for different weapons so for like the the, the bloodborne ish weapons um that transform they have infinite ammo most guns have infinite ammo and what happens is when you run out of ammo you switch to the melee mode and then the bullets automatically refill as you see on the bottom left so you have that kind of really cool dynamic and with the other guns that just normally reload what they do is you just press like r2 forgot what it is on keyboard and mouse sorry but like r1 is to attack with your right hand and l1 with your left hand and then r2 is to like reload or use the special you know l2 r2 for for that that hand that you're on and then there are also certain attacks that also open it up which is pretty cool so like with certain weapons you can attack in certain directions and it'll automatically transform the weapon itself so, uh, not all guns have infinite ammo which is pretty cool like some of them you have to manually reload they don't automatically reload and then others are like oh i only have this big of a clip and you're done you know so it's kind of interesting you know because you can bash with them same thing with the shields um some weapons have projectiles so like <laughs> i cheated you're weak um you know like with this katana for example it's special gives off this uh this kind of like aoe slash i'll show you right now so one dude got hit the other dude backed off to, to, to save himself um and with like some weapons you have like certain conditions to use the specials which i think is awesome other weapons is just like use it you know like there's one weapon that has like a uh that has like a uh, 
I got an interesting mechanic where you can't just reload it. You have to you have to switch it into a different mode. And then there's some that are like you toss out a projectile, it comes back like a boomerang. Um there are some weapons that turn into actual guns. There are some melee weapons that are guns like like Squall's revolver gun blade. Uh, that's what I call it. Um, and it shows you in the in the information too. I'll pull it up real quick before I sign off. But um, where is it? Where is that revolver? There we go. The revolver gun blade. So like that weapon right there in the right hand. If you look closely, you can see the barrel. So what happens is it's kind of like Exia's. If you're familiar with Gundam 00, uh, with Exia's gun blade, where the blade will flip forward and then you can use it as a sword and then the blade will flip under and go under your wrist and then you have the gun. So what that's what this gun does, where it's in blade mode first and then it flips back and then you can shoot six shots. But to reload the shots, you got to flip it back into sword mode and then it'll refill on its own over time. Uh, for some other interesting weapons, like for some guns, uh, UI broke. Um, for some guns, like, like this shotgun, uh, it says bash under its special. It doesn't have a reload where this gun does have a reload. Yeah, like some guns have reloads, some guns don't. So this one, once you run out of ammo, you can just hit people with it and that's it. You know, you can use internal parts for extra ammo, but that's generally it. And then with the reload, it just infinitely reloads and you hit the reload button, which takes a while, leaves you wide open, balance. Um, you know, you reload and you keep shooting. It shows you how much ammo you have. You know, all the stats are right here along with the lore of it. But you know, it shows you the weight, so that way you can know your load and how much you know how much stuff you have to equip. Um, you know, it shows you how much ammo it has. If it's a reload type, it reloads to max to a max clip. It doesn't reload halfway or at all or not at all. Um, it is a reloadable shotgun versus the other shotgun, which was a light shotgun for lightweight combat. You know, you use it and it should be dead by the time you run out of ammo. Type of thing. So, you know, it shows you how much the bash stats do and how much damage it does, how much damage the projectile, the projectiles do. All this, you know, little details that are, you know, if you play on any Armored Core game, you know that these little details add up to how good your mech is. And like, even with this, like this is a shield that you can throw, Captain America style. Love this shield, great shield. So. You know, you got your super shield, you know, all this stuff. You got a lot of parts. You got your your uh, Dark Souls parry shield. Uh, if you want to go that route and play this like Dark Souls, you certainly can. Um, so many cool weapons and designs. So many interesting parts. And I can't wait for them to add on more. Um, I really can't wait for them to add on more. If you wanted to see more stuff or get more information check out their facebook page which will be in the link below uh check out their twitter hit them up um i definitely have go on their discord see if you can find some people get some matches in i'm always looking for matches uh so yeah if you see me online hit me up i'll definitely jump on with you and that'll do it for me guys that'll be it for me and garrison this game is awesome it's worth checking out if you can get the demo, play it. If you if you feel generous, like I have, 15 bucks is more than enough to get awesome value out of this. Like I said, I put close to 70 plus hours into it already, just where it is in early access, and I have not gotten bored of it from all the possibilities, from all the test builds, from the survival to the arcade to increasing difficulty, like, there are so many different builds, it's awesome, and I just can't wait for more stuff to come out. And if you're a fan of games like this, then this is exactly what you're looking for. If you don't have a PC, I feel sorry for you. But you're missing out on something good. But that's it for me. You know, if you want to help me out, you know, you can do all the YouTube stuff. You know how all that stuff works. I don't have to tell you. <laughs> um, but it is appreciated if you do. I'm not just like 
trying to make money off of you. I don't do this for money. I just do this because I love mechs and I want to share information if, if people don't know about it. So um, I'm still doing more research for more videos that are coming up very soon. Um, some more discussion videos about some, some mech projects that were canceled that I thought were really groundbreaking. Um, talking about Damon X Machina and the From Software team kind of breaking apart and you know certain directors branching out and doing their own things and you know making their own games and trying to corner the market like this is some really interesting stuff and including the new mech the new mech the new zoids anime like have you guys checked up on that it's on episode three right now at the time of making this video man the new zoids wild is sick and there's been no mention of the game that's supposed to go with it so there's a lot to talk about on this channel. I'm gonna try to get out videos when I can um, in, a, in a faster pace because I'm gonna have more time to do so. Um, and if you guys are, are down for the content I'm creating, let me know in the comments. Um, getting better slowly, little by little. Especially with video editing, I'm getting better little by little. Uh, but yeah, just wanna say thank you to everybody out there and the almost close to 200 subscribers that I have um this has been awesome and i can't wait to keep going so and i'll end it with some with some gameplay and uh you know see y'all later ready go